Hello, welcome to, um, today's video. Um, today I'm playing Dead by Daylight. Um, this is a scary game, FYI. It's very gory, so if you don't like blood and murder and horror, maybe click off and I'll see you on Sunday. Okay, hello, all you horror freaks. Today I'm playing Dead by Daylight. Um, okay, we're loading. Um, so I had audio issues with this game like I did with Plants vs. Zombies. I'm doing a voiceover. Sorry if it's weird, but this is just what we're going to have to do. So anyways, um, the point of this game is to, so you're four people. As you can see, there's my team. I'm Steve Harrington from Stranger Things, and what we're supposed to do is survive from a killer. So I don't know who the killer is. None of us do. We won't until we get in the match, and the killer's job is to kill us. Okay, there's me talking about my ranks. Um, anyway, so the killer's job is to kill us all, and our job is to refix, to refix, to repair five generators and escape. Um... At the time I'm filming this, I'm level 34, rank 12. Um, the ranks change every, on the 13th of every month, so that'll be different. I'm um, actually, I just got level 8 today, so, um, but if I remember, I'll put my new rank, or my new level in the description, if anyone cares. So... Yeah, so the point is that we have to work together to fix five generators and to not die while this killer tries to kill us. Um, and we also can, so we, we also can unhook each other and heal each other and it's very team based, but it's hard because you can't talk. So you just kind of have to like hope for the best, you know? Okay, so here we are, the Temple of Purgaton. Purgaton in the Red Forest. Um, I picked this map with my treat. Didn't know that. So here's a generator. So you can see I'm fixing it. Um, those are um, skill checks. And there's a certain range you want to hit and it helps you move forward in repairing it faster or healing someone faster. And you also get um, points for it and then you get credit for it at the end and rewarded. Um, so here I am running. So as you, in the bottom right hand corner, I have four perks. Um, so I think you just saw the killer. If you, oh yep, yeah, okay, there he is. It's, um, Pyramid Head, Triangle Head, Pyramid Head from hmm, that game. That one game? Um, Why can't I remember what it's called? Silent Hill, gosh, okay. So, okay, so here's my buddies. We're all fixing this generator while they go and hang that person. Teamwork. Um, so I have my four perks in the corner. Everyone has perks, they're all different. So mine are, I have in the, the, the uh, one on the left is a babysitter one. It's a Steve Harrington treat. <laughs> um, that one, I don't really know what it does. It's something cool. <laughs> and then the top one is a cat. So whenever it lights up, that means the killer is within 30 meters of me looking at me. Um, then the one I have on the right. Whenever I get hurt, I can do stuff faster. And then the bottom one, whenever someone's hung, like that person down there, I can see where all of the kill all the um, survivors are, and then if the killer's within a certain range of the hooked victim, I can see where they are. So, as you can see, he is chasing KFC, $5, um, fill up for five ninety five, And then those two are getting saved, and I'm fixing generator. Um, one thing, uh, I'm so sad that it didn't record right, because, um, when the killer's close, there's a heartbeat. So, 
can't hear the heart, so I'm just gonna randomly run away for no reason and hide. But it's just, it's because the killer was close, okay? Just trust me. So here I am, fixing this generator. Look at me, almost halfway with my skill point. Check. Okay, that person, oh no, KFC is down and they're spinning, that's cute. So, yeah, this is the whole game, so, mm, sorry. Sometimes the game is more intense than this. It depends on the killer. If they have different killers like Michael Myers, um, Jason. Nope, not Jason. The other one, Freddy. Freddy Krueger. They also have, and then they have the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. And then they have like a bunch of custom characters. So, yeah. It's kind of freaky. So that guy's fixing that generator. And I'm fixing nope I don't because that's right yep okay so I just got hit so I think that's a perk from my babysitter trait whenever I get hit I get a, a boost for like two seconds where I run really fast so I'm being ch hey nope I'm not being chased anymore um here's me trying to help these people it's so weird this is the technically the third time I'm doing a voiceover because I have my original one and then I did a voiceover and it didn't work. So this is my third time doing this voiceover. It's weird because I know what happens. The second time I watched it, I was like, I don't know. I'm watching it for the first time too, but now I'm not. So anyway, so here we go. He did a rude little thing. Okay, so we save that person and then you get points for everything you do. Get points for running away, get points for fixing generators, for escaping, everything. So here's me running. I don't know where I'm going. I like how I'm like, I've already seen this. I know what happens. I don't know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Good job, me. Um, so I'm hiding behind this tree. He has goals. And sorry if the audio is weird. Like different volumes and things. I'm trying my best, okay? Um, I'm using my phone, so it's gonna be Walk Town USA. So, he just hung that person and he's coming towards me. Level, oh, just kidding, he's not. Yeah, he is. I don't know where he's going. Um, yeah, I got this game in July around the 4th, and this is what I've been doing because it's addicting it's really it's really dumb but i like it um so she's hurt <laughs> and i'm gonna heal her i know it seemed like at the beginning all i do is fix generators which i do that's my specialty but i also help people um when i first started playing this game I was such a scary cat. But now I'm not. So as you can see, I just screamed. I don't know why, but I did. Okay, so here's me running. Going in this temple. And now I'm going downstairs. To fix a generator. Um. This generator, I think this generator is always here. Which is good and bad, because we know where it is, but then the killer also knows where it is. That's the one thing that's funny about being a sur maining survivor. Is that, and then playing the killer, is that you know where to go. You know where they all hide. So, we're just fixed in. She ran through one of his, like, I don't know what it is. He's like, spikies. That's what we're gonna call them, spikies. So, she's just spiked up. So, here we are. Um, the worst part about the multiple la levels is that they can be above you and the heartbeat will be really fast. And so it seems like they're like right behind you, but they're not, they're above you. It's scary. Okay, so we're running, running running, trying to get out of here. I 
feel like you used to be able to help the survivors and take that spiky stuff off of them. But I guess you can't anymore? Anyway, so there's that guy. See, that's the spiky stuff that he trapped. That guy in there. So I was hoping I could sneak by, help him, heal him up. Look at us. She did it too. Except for that the killer's right there. I like how I run even though I didn't see him. Okay, so he just hit that other guy that I was healing. Oops. So here I go. I'm running, running, running. Is it weird that I'm commentating what I'm doing? Like, yes, Sarah, we can see that you're running. I just didn't want to, like, put music over it. That would be kind of boring. What? I, I don't know. I mean, if I'm not annoying. Okay, so that guy just died, died. Like, he's gone. Um. Anyway, if I did annoy you that bad, just mute me, put on some, turn on some tunes, call it good. So that guy is dead, so there's three of us. I don't know what I'm doing, I think I'm looking for a generator. Um, there's sometimes a generator around here, but not that anyone cares. I'm just thinking, oh gonna heal her because I'm a good teammate okay yep nothing to say here um oh that's good there's crows and if you run past them or walk past them they fly off and they kind of make a loud noise so that the killer can use that to know where people are there's some perks where it tells you directly crows are like through here but I've never oh, used it before kind of scary so here's me running I wonder if I get hung oh I do so look at him he's picking me up cute oh he dropped me and now he's gonna put me in a cage like his bird. So here I am in a cage. Screaming. I took a screenshot. Don't know why. So here's me being his pet bird. So see, certain characters can do certain stuff like this. Depends on who they are. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. So this person's coming to save me. So one of my perks, or maybe it's everyone. Whenever you're hung or something, you can see where all the survivors are, which is nice. Because sometimes you just sit and watch them fix a generator and not come help you and let you die. It's happened to me before. So here we are. I'm getting fixed by Felicule. Felicule? I don't know. Some, some people's names. Um, there's a generator. And I'm running. What's hard is sometimes I run right towards where everyone in is, and I'm like, oops, sorry. Didn't know you were there, but then sometimes the killer goes for them instead of me. So it's a win win. Just kidding. So see, look, I can see where he is, and I can see he's coming my way. Oh, that person died. So, I used to suck at this game. Like, I feel like you gotta, like, take some risks. And before, I would just be like, uh-uh, I'm just gonna sit here. But now, I'm running and hiding behind trees. So, um. Yep, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm hiding. Literally standing still. Okay, here we go. So there's just me and Felicule. Okay, Felicule just died. So I'm... We only have one generator. What? Um, sorry. Didn't know that. So, I don't know what he's doing. Taking a nap, apparently. Um... doing oh oh that makes sense 
it's funny watching this the third time because I know what happened. So then it's like I can watch and see where I messed up. And I, I messed up right here. So there's them trying to get that hatch. Did you see that thing in the ground? That's very important for the next five minutes of this video. Like context clue, pinpoint it, m secret mouse tool we're going to use for later. I don't care. Just remember that that's there, okay? So I'm running away from this guy from Silent Hill, remember? And trying to save this person. This is funny. So I save him and then bam, kills me, hits me. Hit me, baby, one more time. Just kidding, that was horrible. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm running, 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 running. He's right behind me because my butt is red. So they have a red light and that helps you. I don't know what it's for. Helps you see them. So he's following me because I'm his pet bird. Actually, now I'm more like a worm. Um, He's following me. I don't know why. Now he's picking me up, and that person is shining a light at them, and then he drops me. Fun fact, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> As killer, I don't know how to drop people. Fake, fake killer. Just kidding. I've only been killer like five times, so it's not very fun, if you ask me. Okay, so they just killed, hit that person. So we're pretty much screwed. So he's going to pick them up and go hang them. Well, I just chill out. I don't know why I'm recovering. You know what would be the smart thing to do? Is find that grate. Or whatever it's called. Wouldn't it? Mm hmm It would. Because then I can escape when that person died. So he's coloring me a picture. He's drawing a line. To what? The gate. So I'm dumb and didn't catch on so here's him he's trying to look look at him he's like go and i'm like who huh? like i'm so dumb so like, there he goes and i'm like what and i was afraid to go in it but there i go and he's like yes 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 baby yes i don't know why he's telling me no so then i turn around but then he tells me to go so i don't understand him but you know what whatever there's me dancing like a worm Mm hmm I'm sure he's so sick of me. Okay, that person just died. So I'm like, maybe I'll go find the gate, the grate. And then I'm like, oh, look, there it is. He was trying to get me to go to it. Which is nice, right? Like, oh. And then he closes it. So I can't escape. Which is hilarious. So I dance on it. Because that was pretty funny. Um. Yeah. So then I'm dancing. Because I don't know. I just laughed, though, when he did that. I was like, that's hilarious. And then I don't know what he's doing. I just decided to follow him because there's, unless he picked me up and dropped me over and over again and let me escape, or if I wiggled free, I, I can't win. So, yep. So here he comes. Oh, look, he's drawing me a new picture. I wonder where it's going to go. I just decided to crawl in X. Why not? Look at him. He's checking on me. How cute. Yeah, I don't know. I had nothing else to do. And he was being funny. And then look, he drew me right to where I'm gonna die. I thought it was pretty funny. And then he, look, poor me. I was trying to wiggle free. I was hoping he'd let me go, but he didn't. There I go. I'm just hanging out with Pyramid Head. Hashtag goals. And then, yeah, so there, there's that. There's Dead by Daylight. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for the awkward voiceover. Hopefully, I can get 
my life together for the next few videos, but I don't know yet. Um, thank you for watching, and if you liked it, please let me know. Um, yeah. Um, check in on every Monday, nope, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday this month for some spooky content. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!